Witness News is taking you inside the mafia now. Today, state police arrested two dozen alleged mobsters and their associates. 24 men accused of taking part in an illegal sports betting ring. Several of the suspects are reputed members of the Patriarca crime family, including notorious killer Frank Bobo Marapizi, who just got out of jail last summer. Eyewitness News reporter Katherine Sotnik has been following this story all day. She joins us now with the latest developments live with the Providence Mobile Newsroom. Well, Susan, state police say the arrests are the result of nearly a seven-month wiretap investigation. Again, 24 people were rounded up today throughout Rhode Island, brought right here to district court behind me. And actually, we're told one person was arrested in Las Vegas, Nevada. And <laughs> state police say this was an organized gambling ring, and they say it was a very lucrative one. One after the other, the suspects were brought into Providence District Court, including two reputed made members of the Patriarca crime family, handcuffed to each other. 68-year-old Frank Bobo Marapisi in the black leather jacket, and to the right, 65-year-old Edward Lado. Also arrested, another reputed wise guy, 69-year-old Alfred Chippy Scavola of Johnston. He was arrested in Las Vegas. And these reputed made men of the Patriarca crime family are just three of the 24 rounded up in what state police are calling an organized gambling ring, a lucrative ring that at one point detectives say brought in $400,000 in bookmaking. Police say those arrested bet on pro and college sports. State police also allege that Mara Pisi, who is on parole for a murder conviction, directed others to carry out crimes. It is alleged that Mara Pisi used the standing as a made mem member of the Patriarca crime family to assist, participate, and direct other co-conspirators to carry out various criminal acts to include extortion. And police say the proceeds from the ring were funneled to Lado through other members. The big guy at the head of the ring, state police say, was 49-year-old Vincent Tallow of Johnston. As for Mara Pisi, he was released from prison in 2008 for the 1987 murder of Richard Dickey Calley. The attorney general's office calling the bust a great success. I think what today proves is that organized crime and corruption in the state of Rhode Island never sleeps. The good news is law enforcement in the state of Rhode Island never sleeps. And Mara PC was ordered held on $50,000 bail with surety. I can also tell you that most of the people arrested today were in their 50s, 60s, and even one person in their 70s. For the full list of people who were arrested and rounded up this morning, all you have to do is visit our website, WPRI.com. Reporting live from District Court with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, I'm Catherine Sotnik, Eyewitness News.